that is awesomely good. It is very tender, and you can really taste that really reduced red wine sauce. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in New York City. Last night, I had a little bit of a dream about that coffee in the fridge, so I just woke up. I'm gonna start with the coffee. I don't have a bottle opener, but I do have a spoon. Let's see if I can do this. It's been a while. Oh yeah. All right, success. I think it's a very light roast, which I really like because you can taste the full body, the full flavor of the coffee, and it is a, kind of like a roasted caramel brown color to it, and very aromatic as soon as I popped that, that um, lid on that bottle. Mmm, smells kind of like a little bit fruity. Mmm, oh. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, it's it's kind of earthy, actually, rather than fruity. <sighs> the more I sit here and keep drinking this coffee, it just keeps getting better and better. The complexity and I keep tasting new flavors. It's, it's amazing and it's so smooth and it really is just like coffee juice, the nectar, this cold brew. Wow, it's good. Goodbye, New York City. This is an awesome view. And thank you very much to Courtyard Marriott Chelsea. We've had a fantastic stay. Staff are awesome here. And this is literally a prime location right around the corner from Penn Station, a great place to stay when you're in New York City. It's time to move on to the next destination. You all in a You all in Okay, we have come to my final bite in New York City. I'm gonna make it happen right over there on the street corner just outside of Pennsylvania Station. I just came to thinking I have not had a hot dog yet in New York City. Hello. <laughs> I ordered a hot dog, got everything on it, and this is a halal cart, so it's a 100% beef hot dog, and I got all the toppings, put on some sauerkraut, some ketchup, and mustard. And it's a boiled hot dog as well, I saw him pull it out of the hot water. Simple and classic. Hot dog, the bread, the little bit of spicy mustard, and then that sauerkraut to give it a, a little bit of a fresh crispness. The hot dog is okay, but what I love is this atmosphere right here in Madison Square Garden. Buildings surrounding, there are lots of people, and what I love so much about New York City is just the incredible diversity. People from all walks of life, from every culture to the farthest corners of the globe. You hear different languages standing here. You see different cultural traditions standing here. I think that's really what sums up New York City. We bought our tickets, and again, we are flying out of Newark International Airport. Have about a 20 minute wait until the next train leaves. We made it to the airport. We are flying with United from Newark to Hong Kong. This is gonna be by far the longest flight on this entire round the world trip for food. I think it's about 16 hours on this flight. And if you're just joining me on this video, I wanted to just really quickly fill you in. Right now, my wife Ying and I are on a trip with Star Alliance, a round the world trip for food. We are traveling to a total of nine different destinations. We started in Bangkok 
Um, so that's 10 destinations if you count our home base in Bangkok and we're traveling around with the specific purpose of eating delicious food. So this is, it's hard to believe actually that we're coming to the end of the trip right now. Um, we are gonna fly to, to Hong Kong and then be in Hong Kong for a couple of days, then we'll fly back to Bangkok and that will complete the entire circle, the entire trip around the world with Star Alliance. If you haven't already watched the entire video series, they will be in a full playlist, uh, which I will leave the link in the description box below. You can watch all of the videos in consecutive order and follow this entire trip around the world for food. On our way to Hong Kong, and again, we're flying business class. Starting off with a welcome champagne. And this is one flight that I am looking forward to all 16 hours of. Are you looking at the menu? Hello. No, thank you. <laughs> What's on the menu, Ying? Beef. Stir-fry noodle. Oh, salmon? short rib. Oh, short rib or salmon. Oh, the short rib sounds fantastic. menu this says this is balik style salmon with remoulade sauce and wow that is a, a pretty thick hearty slice of salmon and there are maybe sun-dried tomato sun-dried tomatoes in the middle is that one slice of salmon oh that is huge yeah. oh it's so soft and tender and buttery and just creamy oily and there's also some kind of a sauce here bit of a horseradish kind of sauce. And that is just such a huge chunk of salmon. That salmon is so tender, you can cut it with your fork. The meal is served course by course, so it is salad course now, and I got the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I got the short rib with red wine sauce, and then it came with mashed potatoes and carrots and green beans and a tomato. Oh, that's so tender. Get a close-up look at that. That is awesomely good. It is very tender, and you can really taste that really reduced red wine sauce. good. What I will do is take the pepper and sprinkle it on generously. Oh my. Next up, this is the pre-dessert snacks, cheese and grapes and crackers. Okay, let me start off with this cheese here. Oh, that is a very crumbly. Oh, thank you. That is a very crumbly, dry cheese. I think it's a goat cheese. It does have a very kind of animal-y taste to it. It's like cream cheese though. That has to be followed by a grape. The immediate juicy sweetness of the 
they're great. And finally, the last course of this meal is dessert, and it is gelato. And Ying and I decided to share one, and Jean really hooked up the chocolate sauce, the fudge. She just poured it all over the ice cream. That is sweet. And then I also got a cup of tea here. That completes this gourmet meal. For my main course for breakfast, I chose the omelet, came with some herbed sausage, and you can really see all of the spices within that sausage. There's potatoes here, and also maybe some kind of, what is the orange thing? Pumpkin or squash or something? I'll go with the spoon for this. All of a sudden, there's a bunch of turbulence. Whoa. I gotta start with that herb sausage. Whoa, this is a shaky camera. like apple as well. Okay, omelet. Oh, is that cheese and also maybe some black beans in here? Lazy forks. I think that's like a creamy cheesy sauce actually underneath that omelet. Oh yeah. It's from. Congratulations. Bye. Two meals, three movies, and about six hours of on and off sleep, and we have arrived in Hong Kong. It's about 7.30 p.m. We're waiting for our bag now, but I just want to say thank you to United Airlines and especially to Jean and Anna and the captain and the whole crew of that airline. They really took care of us that flight. Hello. Are you going to? Uh, JW Marriott. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, when you arrive in Hong Kong, there's a very convenient train, or I've also taken the bus before from the airport to the town, but Ying is not feeling very well right now, so we decided to take a taxi directly to our hotel. But it's great to be in Hong Kong. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. We come to Asia. I'm so excited. AM. Okay, Ying is pretty happy to be at this hotel. We're staying at JW Marriott. We got all checked in, and she was just going over our benefits. We have breakfast, afternoon tea, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, evening snacks, and other refreshments all day long. It's like all you can eat all day long in this hotel and we are going up to our room right now. What floor are we on? Oh, I gotta clear my ears. We're on the 35th floor. This is a nice hotel. All right. On. Oh, is this the AC? Okay. okay let's take a quick tour of the room. Have the bed right in the center there. Oh, Ying is already hanging out on that sofa chair. 
desk on the side here. And this is like a corner, do we have the corner room? Or we at least have a corner window? Okay, there's a little bit of a glare on the window right now. Oh yeah, but if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see. No, probably not picking up on the, on the camera. Oh, there we go. You can see that view. I'm sure tomorrow morning we'll have a better view in the daylight. And now over to the bathroom. Oh, by the way, the drink station, water, coffee maker, water boiler, and bathroom in here. We every kind of bathroom thing you need. Toilet is here and shower, both a shower and a tub. And that completes the tour of the room. This is a really nice room. I've been to Hong Kong a number of times, so this isn't my first time to Hong Kong, but Hong Kong remains one of my favorite cities in the world. The, it's just an amazing city. The buildings, the architecture, the food is awesome. And so for the next four days, we're gonna be in Hong Kong. And it's hard to believe that this is our final destination on this round the world trip for food with Star Alliance. Uh, but happy to be in Hong Kong. It's been a long day where Ying and I are both a little disoriented right now, but it is around 9 p.m. in Hong Kong, so I don't think we'll do anything for this for tonight. We're gonna go to bed pretty soon. I'm gonna end the vlog for today right now. Thank you all very much for watching this vlog, traveling all the way from New York to Hong Kong. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. See you on the next video. Thank you again for watching.